morning. I'm happy to announce the successful completion of Mission Praram, the beginning of a sky route aerospace. The rocket VKS took off at LEA of 80 degrees and azimuth of 100 degrees, achieved an altitude of 89.5 kilometers and a range of 121.2 kilometers, exactly what was planned by Skyroot Aerospace. All systems, as I can make out, worked as planned, and Skyroot Aerospace has demonstrated capability of various subsystems that will go into the orbital launch vehicle. I congratulate Skyroot Aerospace, their team members, and thank various centers of ISRO, specifically SDSC, STRAC, and VSSC, team members of InSpace, led by Director PMA, Dr. Jain, and Director Technical, Mr. Rajiv Jyoti, and many thanks to multiple reviews conducted by experts from ISRO, InSpace, and from outside uh, for the mission readiness and launch uh, uh, clearance, led by Dr. B. Suresh. This is a new beginning for Indian private sector entry into space, and it's a historic moment for all of us. We have the pleasure of having Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh, here with us to give us encouragement, and I request him to give his thoughts on what this today's mission means for our country. Dr. Singh. Congratulations, India. It is indeed a new beginning, a new dawn, and I, shall I say very appropriately as our team members have put it, a new prarambha in the journey of India's space program. And very many thanks to Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji, who has made this effort possible by opening up the space sector to public-private participation. It's also a, a major step forward to India developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a frontline nation in the community of world nations. And of course, a turning point in India's startup movement. Well done, Team Skyroot. The co-founders can join me here. Pavan, IIT Khadakpur alumni, Bharat, IIT Madras alumni. We have worked day and night to make this possible. And of course, kudos ISRO. You have this day on the 18th of November 2022 added yet one more feather into your much decorated hat. And thanks, thanks ISRO for putting India as a frontline nation in the years to come and a nation to which others would look forward to vital cues in the journey of space sector. Thanks once again. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. All right, so that's Jitendra Singh, Union Minister, who's congratulating the entire team for the successful mission. In fact, uh, India's first privately developed rocket, Vikram S, was successfully launched 
on a sub-orbital mission with three payloads. Of course, Hyderabad-based space startup Skyroot Aerospace created this. We have, in fact, Dharani live with us, joining from Sriharikota. Dharani, big day for India, history in making. In fact, history has been made now. The ISRO has launched country's first rocket built by a private company and it is a successful mission. Yes, a very happy moment for all of us to celebrate. So, we witnessed India's first private rocket, Vikram, as, you know, getting launched into the space. And uh, we're also learning that all the, you know, steps and pathways in between are successful. So, this uh, uh, means that officially in some time, uh, we'll be getting, uh, you know, uh, getting announced that this uh, mission is a success. So, that is what we're, we're all awaiting for. But meanwhile, Union Minister Jitendra Singh, is also present here and he witnessed this uh, uh, main and private, uh, you know, uh, rocket launch uh, in person. So, he is... Uh, uh, congratulating both officials from ISRO and uh, Skyroot Aerospace on this uh, successful mission. Uh, so this, uh, you know, this particular event that has happened today, this uh, launch that has happened today, this is going to place uh, India in a very good position in the world. So we have launched our first private uh, rocket into the space and this means a lot for the uh, space sector here in India, especially for ISRO. So in 2020, as was rightly pointing out earlier, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi opened up the space sector for private uh, participation. Now, uh, two years later, we are looking at the first private uh, rocket getting into the space and this mission is almost a success. We are waiting for the uh, final official announcement. So, uh, uh, very soon, a uh, press conference will be held by the top officials of uh, uh, Skyroot Aerospace and ISRO uh, where they will be announcing the success of the mission. So, we are waiting for the press uh, conference to happen. So, in another few moments, that press conference will start where we will be, we'll be hearing this, you know, official success announcement. But meanwhile, everybody here is very happy. Uh, we saw Vikram as... Uh, uh, you know, uh, soaring through the sky, you know, uh, from this very spot where I am standing right now in uh, Satish Dhawan Space Centre here in uh, Shrigari Kota. So it happened in a fraction of seconds. So that tiny rocket, it soared into the space and it is, expe uh, it, it, it is expected to be a successful mission. So what, from what we are hearing in the announcement section here, it seems to be a success and we are also waiting for the official announcement through a press conference. Conference. So, uh, this uh, rocket Vikramas, it will be carrying three uh, payloads along with it, uh, two domestically uh, you know, made payload, uh, payloads and one from a, a foreign country that is Armenia. So, all these uh, three uh, payloads, they together weigh 80 kilograms. So, uh, Vikramas has carried 80 kilo kilograms of payload along with it uh, to the space. Uh, so, you know, uh, it will be reaching its you know, destined altitude and as soon as it reaches its destined altitude, it will be splashing into either uh, uh, the Bay of Bengal or the Indian Ocean. It will be splashing into this see. Uh, so this mission is definitely a success and it is a, a definitely a great leap of faith and also success for Indian space sector in the world arena. Certainly a big success. Of course, history has been made, made in mission of uh, Skyroot Aerospace named Param. Of course, uh, it was successfully launched on a suborbital mission with uh, three payloads. In fact, this is Hyderabad-based space startup Skyroot aerospace uh, that has created this it was carrying payloads of two indian and one foreign customer and has launched from the isro's launch pad at sri harikota successfully thank you dharani for all those details from the ground